What's good, YouTube? Welcome to the journey. My name is Chandi, and you are on the journey with me. Excuse my uh, camera for shaking. I'm actually driving to the lake right now. I'm about to take my pup out for a long walk. Um, I'm on my dog mom duties today. Um, this week is going to be a very long week. Excuse my voice too, y'all. Look, listen. I worked last night and I actually did not go to sleep until like 2 this morning because I was up editing. And if you have not checked it out, go check out my DIY water jug piggy bank. Y'all, that thing took me like six hours to make. Then it took me like two days to edit all of that content. Four hours of, because the other two hours I didn't record. So four hours of film that I had to edit. Y'all, I'm, I'm new to this. I'm not true to this yet. So it took me a while to edit and it still didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to be. But you know, doing this type of stuff, you can't really be perfect. You just gotta kind of just do it. You gotta just do it and just put it out there. The talent will come, like the talent, the becoming a pro, all of that will come with time. But in the beginning stages, I just feel like you just need to get out from all of the videos that I've watched. You just need to get out the content, right? And then everything else will follow. So that's what I'm doing right now. Y'all, I'm at zero subscribers, so I'm really talking to myself, okay? So, but you know, it is what it is. Don't nobody fuck with me. It is sad. It's sad and it's hurting my feelings. It's really hurting my feelings. I'm so motherfucking tired. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even gonna play with you. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play. I ain't playing. I'm really tired. The key up today is never give up. Even when you're feeling tired. Even when you're feeling like you don't want to do it. That is the enemy trying to keep you down. You know? You got to push through. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to push through. Because the moment that you say I give up is it could be the moment where you receive your breakthrough. You know, the moment where you say I give up and I don't want to do this because I'm not seeing any. Um, I'm not seeing any uh, results. That could be your downfall that could be the reason why you don't make it you know that could be the reason why you don't get to accomplish the goals that you set out for yourself because the moment that it start getting hard you want to quit and you can't quit quitting is not an option quitting is not an option it's a lot of people in this world that quit that have potential they just quit just because because it's too hard or just because they don't want to do it or just because they don't want to it's a lot of people in this world that have hella potential right but they have all of this potential and they quit because it gets hard baby let me tell you something life is not easy life is not easy and especially it's not going to be easy especially when you want something out of life right when you want something out of life, it's not going to be easy to obtain those goals. Because you know what? You're going to have a lot of people that are going to... A lot of naysayers. A lot of people that are going to be like, mm, she doing this for a little... They doing this for a little bit right now, but watch, watch. She ain't going to do it. She ain't going to post. She ain't going to... She doing it for right now. She always starts something and don't finish it. Or he always starts something and don't finish it. Or he always say he gonna do this and do that, but don't ever do nothing, right? It's a lot of people out here in this world that think like that. It's a lot of people in this world that believe that. And it's up to you on if you're gonna 
wear that jacket or if you're going to take that jacket off and show something different wear wear a glitter jacket or wear a red, you know wear wear a jacket that's going to shock them all Y'all, I really don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just driving, and I didn't pass the parking spots five minutes ago. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your ideas. Don't give up on yourself because people, nobody is going to support you the way that you support you. Nobody is going to have your back the way that you have your own back. Right? And when you give up on yourself, it's easier for other people to give up on you as well. Because they looking like, okay, so she giving up on herself. How is she expecting me to keep her pushing or keep her motivated? And she giving up on herself. How? What sense does that make? It don't make no sense. Y'all, I'm just driving in these people's neighborhood. Just driving in their neighborhood. And, and, and don't even know why. Everybody got their trash out. It's oof. Let me get from over here because this is not my neck of the woods. This don't even look like my neck of the woods. <laughs> nah, for real. Don't give up on yourself. And when you have people in your corner that are pushing you to do better, hold on to those people because a lot of there's some people out here in this world that don't have nobody they don't have nobody they ain't got nobody they ain't got nobody telling them like you can do this you can do this you got this you can do this you can do this don't worry about what other people are saying don't worry about what other people are doing you got this you know what i'm saying and that's something that I had to grow out of. I had to grow out of waiting for validation from people. Waiting for somebody to tell me, okay, um, this is good. You're doing a good job. Or, no, that, that's not good because what somebody else's opinion, what somebody else likes or what somebody else thinks does not have, it should not affect your life, right? It should not have, they should not have that power to tell you what you should and should not do with your own life and how you should and should not move with your own life, right? Is that a stop sign? <laughs> I'm killing myself today with these glasses though. And these ain't even my glasses. These are my mama glasses. She left them at my house and I just like them because they X out everything that's going on up underneath this. Because it's giving very much dead. Okay? It's giving dead. It's giving dead to the ground. It's giving tumbleweed. It is giving Sahara Desert. Okay? Don't let nobody kill your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do and what you can and cannot accomplish. Because the only reason why somebody is talking down on you and telling you what you can and cannot do is because that's the way that they feel about themselves. They feel that way about themselves. And instead of checking themselves, what they're doing is trying to check you and trying to make it seem like you the one that uh, have unrealistic unreal goals or you the one don't ever fall through. You know, always keep your promise to yourself. If you promise something to yourself, you tell yourself, self, I'm going to do this and I'm, I don't care what nobody said, I'm going to do this, do it. Don't double down and then later, why they got them, why they got their eyes covered? Why they got their eyes covered? It was some horses and they had like a bandana across their eyes. What that mean? Anyway, yeah, so don't let nobody kill your dreams, y'all. For real. For real. Keep your promise to yourself. You know, stick to your word and quit disappointing yourself time and time again. This year is a year where you don't disappoint yourself anymore. You don't let yourself down anymore because we put too much faith in other people. We put too much trust in other people. And then when they don't fall through the way that, that you feel like they should or you thought that they would, 
then it's whoa it's me or you highly disappointed when you disappoint yourself every day sis brother you disappoint yourself every single freaking day but we don't want to talk about that you don't want to talk about how you disappoint yourself every day and you feel that um should i i'm gonna park right here you better get off my eight you better get off my booty i ain't playing head bald head scallywag ain't got no hair and okay we we here we at the park we at the lake but i just wanna you see him he ready he know where we at just let down the window because i ain't done talking your mama is having a conversation right now sit back and relax we will go in a second look <laughs> A lot of people uh, have, they're banking on like their family members, they're banking on their friends, they're banking on their significant others to help them along the way and to support them and to support yourself first, right? Support yourself first. Once you start supporting yourself and speaking up for yourself and being there for yourself, guess what? you won't need support of others yeah it'll be a plus it'll be a plus but once you start supporting yourself and cheering for yourself and being your biggest cheerleader for yourself nobody else's opinion is gonna really matter it's not gonna matter you gonna look at it and be like oh, okay well thank you for supporting or thank you for that those kind words of it uh kind words but um okay see look that's what i'm saying right there right there right there um thank you for those kind words but i already knew that i was gonna get to where i'm gonna get to because i believe in myself and i trust myself and i'm not letting myself down don't let yourself down that's the moral of the story right here um i'm finna go take this little puppy out for a walk y'all so i'll be back once I'll be back. <laughs>